We've got Bob Thompson, retired president of Fox Sports Networks and Fox Sports International. Principal Thompson Sports Group, LLC. Now, I have thoroughly enjoyed you being active on Twitter. Now, Bob, you've got a long resume of accomplishments, and yet you have found time for my little one-man operation, and I (laughs) certainly appreciate that. How are you this morning? Uh, I'm very well. Happy to be here, Gary. (laughs) Wonderful. Now, we'll start off with, I guess it'll be a softball, but I'll let you make the difference on that. What is the biggest difference in the sports media rights space today compared to when you were at Fox? Like, have you been shocked by the direction that things have gone? Um, not really. I, you know, certainly the dollars shock you because you always think that uh, nothing is going to go up forever. And so far, it, it seems as though the sports rights fees have gone up forever. Um, it, there was nice. a, we thought there'd be a bubble at some point, right? Exactly. I think everybody thought there was a bubble. And, um, you know, I think in 2009 and 10, you saw some things take a little pause. Um, but a lot of the reasons it's you've seen a big jump this time around is some of these deals are pretty stale. You know, the, the 2010, 2011 deals that ran 12 and 13 years is what the Pac-12 and the Big 12 are looking at right now coming off of. So there's been some, you know, some rather significant changes in the business since then. And live sports rights are one of the most valuable things at this point to, to ensure that people tune in and watch. Now, that's the biggest thing, right, is that you've made a switch over to streaming for a lot of people. So a lot of people are cutting the cord. Cable subscribership is down significantly. So really, sports are one of the only things that is appointment viewing. Is that right? Absolutely. And I think sports is one of the only things currently holding the so-called bundle together on cable TV or satellite, where, you know, if you're a sports fan, you've really got to have that. It's pretty hard to get around it. Um, so I think the linear networks, uh, broadcast networks and cable networks realize that. And so for them, the bundle's not dead yet, but they're all kind of hedging their bets uh, by having a streaming component of some sort so that they can reach the other people who are just basically cut the cord entirely and streaming only. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.